Hey guys, it's Wraith from Wraith Rain here, and I have another one of those Everdark vignettes for you. This time, it's about Julian. And this story is about how Julian found the journals that led him and Christian to Everdark. So here is my dramatic reading of this vignette. I hope you enjoy it. Two years ago. Dust filled Julian Harrow's nose as he went deeper into Wingate's attic. The attic was filled with Harrow history. An old, tattered suitcase to his left was the one his great-grandmother had brought when she immigrated to this country from England. The green-shaded banker's lamp to his right had been on his grandfather's desk at Harvard University for over fifty years. Then there were the countless treasures from his adventurer parents' travels from all over the world. The masks, talismans, and carvings lined the attic's walls. But none of these things were related to the work his parents had been doing just before they died. None of it was connected to the great discovery that they were going to make public before their lives had been taken. Julian was up here because of a faint memory. The week of his parents' deaths, he'd found the stairs to the attic lowered. He'd crept up them to the very top. His heart had slammed against his chest as a figure had emerged from the darkness. But it had only been his mother. She jumped in surprise, just like he had, but then smiled and shook her head. What are you doing up here, Julian? It's a beautiful day. We should go outside. Come on. She'd said and taken his hand, leading him out of the attic's darkness and into the light. I should have asked her what she was doing up here. Now I hope there's something to discover. Flashlight in hand, Julian moved further into the gloom from where he'd seen his mother emerge fourteen years earlier. He didn't look at the boxes or old furniture. Instead, he shone his light on the floor, walls, and ceiling. Perhaps she'd secreted something away under a false floorboard or wall covering that he simply hadn't found yet, and that the thieves didn't find either. He waved away cobwebs as he walked, scanning the area inch by inch, until he reached the very end of the attic. The familiar pang of bitter defeat flitted through him, but then... Then he saw it. Or rather, heard it. Under his right foot, one of the floorboards squeaked and shifted. Perhaps it had loosened over the years because of the elements. Or maybe, just maybe, his mother had loosened it to stash something underneath. He dropped down to his knees and used his fingernails to grip the edge of the loose board. It came up easily. Shaking, he aimed the flashlight into the uncovered cubby. It was filled with journals. Ones that he had seen his parents write in countless times about their journeys. He reached in and plucked one out. It fell open, almost as if he was meant to see this particular page first. In his mother's careful hand, she had written... Vampires are real. We've discovered one of their cities. But I fear that they know we've found them too. So guys, that's the end of that vignette. I hope you enjoyed it. I find that I'm actually really fascinated by Joanna Harrow and wish she was alive because I just find her a really intriguing personality. She's devoted to her husband and son, but she is actually a great mind and adventurer. Um, and I wish we could see more of her, maybe some more vignettes in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, little story from Julian. If you are not a member of Wraith Rain and you'd like to read more of the Everdark saga, you can do so for free. You can read the first 10 chapters, about 48,000 words, 50,000 words, a whole book's worth, if you just sign up for our mailing list. And then if you really, if you enjoy it, you can sign up for the site and read, oh my God, there's so much more after that. If you're a member and you haven't read Everdark yet, and my goodness, what have you been doing if you haven't read Everdark? Oh, wait, there's like 24 other finished serials to read. Anyway, if you have it, just go to Everdark and you can read everything too. Remember, everything on this site is free to read if you're a member. It's included with your membership. So check out the things that you're not even sure of. You might find you enjoy them. In any event, thank you guys so much. Let me know if you like this vignette in the comments or if you have any comments or questions questions in general, and I'll be sure to answer them. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.